Bill saw Lewis's first test in the shape of Al Malcolm, the Midlands area champion. So let's hear again now from our commentators Jim and Reg. So there it is then, the, the first look at the properly turned Canadian gold medalist, and appropriately in the gold trunks as well there, Lennox Lewis. Al Malcolm, good old tried and trusted performer, but I uh, wouldn't have thought his record really could stand up to this fellow. 16 stone he's coming near Lewis. He's a big lad at 23. And he's a bit of a thudding puncher, but Malcolm's getting back though. A bit reckless, Jim, isn't he? The Olympic champion. Yeah, he's obviously a little bit eager to please his pro debut. He's obviously going to have to, to learn to cool down a little bit, to uh, make his punches a bit better, but obviously wants to impress. Well, Al Malcolm's been in twice with Gary Mason, and, uh, oh dear, left up there. Put him right on the point of the jaw. Is he going to make it? He's going to get the full eight. To, it's not a mandatory eight. Can he get up when he wants to? Seldom on the deck, actually, uh, Malcolm. That shows this fellow can dig only a minute gone into the round there. When he took out the American, the big fellow, Riddick Bow, we knew in Seoul that uh, he must be a good digger. And we'd seen him, of course, in the Los Angeles Olympics, losing to Terrell Biggs, which at the time was not surprising. So anyway, Frank Maloney, a great expense to the management, as I say, to bring this fellow in from Canada to start his professional career. And it's, uh, it's academic, really, whether it's sh scheduled for six or eight or ten rounds, because it's unlikely to go that with these big fellas. 15-5, Malcolm, but he's 31, and uh, looks as though he's aging but a minute, too, as he gets in with this fella. Tends to be a little bit casual at times, Lewis Jim. I remember watching the amateur saying, you know, is he bored with the proceedings, or is this the normal sort of style? You know, look. I thought he showed quite a bit of patience in the Olympic uh, finals, but he didn't show too much here. He really wanted to, to say it about Malcolm straight away, but he's beginning to calm down a little bit now, doing some careless things. At least he's dropped the pace. Uh, maybe he's, he's hoping to place his punches a bit better now. Well, he's certainly got the physique and uh, presumably the strength. He really is landing now to, to Malcolm. I mean, it's... Uh, it's a, it's a, this has got to be a short fight, certainly. You can't, Malcolm's always hung in there with the best of them, and uh, he got a draw, actually, with Jess Harding years ago. And he had Harding on the deck in the process. So he doesn't have that sort of stand-up style, that, uh, the glamorous touch of the, the Ray Leonard of this world, Olympic champions, Lewis, but uh, he's effective enough. Very much a relieved Al Malcolm there. And in some ways, Jim Lewis is a bit relieved, I suppose, to get the first one over with. Yeah, it's a, a little bit too impetuous in the first round. Maybe he'll settle down to a bit more boxing. But this will be the left hook that uh, just seemed to catch Malcolm on the, the tip of the chin. There goes now, yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that's champion style punch like that. He was really laying into that one. Out for the second then. there it's, I didn't really see that punch it caught him in the eye and he's yeah he's he's looking as though he's saying he's hit me in the eye I don't want to get up and referee Francis is going to count him out I suspect well that was a bit of a disappointing finish really Jim but uh, yes we weren't in there taking the punch what do you make of that well all I saw there was a, a stumble maybe we'll see more in the replay but all I saw was a stumble Yeah, well, there was a punch landed, but no way was that a knockout punch, Reg. Well, obviously, uh, eye trouble has caused him to stay down. Well, there he is then. Uh, he, he can't be blamed for that. And we'll be seeing a lot more of this fellow, that's for sure. 